Karina Gold, and I am Chochenyo Karkina Loney, and this is our territory here. So welcome to Uchin. Um, I was asked to, by my friend uh, Chuck to come and say some words tonight. And this morning when we woke up, we saw on social media what had happened in Orlando. And I almost immediately saw something that was happening in San Francisco and had thought about going there. And then I was having dinner with some friends and Chuck sent me a text message and said, well, there was a gathering here in Oakland. And I said, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is my hometown. Um, I want to, I've heard so many great people talking about the resistance and us standing here, us holding this space is an act of resistance to that. It's an act of resistance for all of those people that have lost their lives. It's an act of resistance for our ancestors. And so while we go from this space and we think about all of those acts of resistance that we're going to participate in, I want to say some prayers. I want to offer some, some guidance to some of these, these poor people that have lost their lives on this earth and for their family members that they left behind. So in our way, when someone passes over, it takes four, four days to take that journey. And in our way, the same place where the, the, the Golden Gate Bridge is, is where our souls pass to the next side. So if you would just go with me for a little bit, I want you guys to take a deep breath. And I want us to let it go. And I want you to bring all of your ancestors in here with you. Because then we hold a much bigger space. And then I want you to take another deep breath. And I want to let it go. And I want us to invite the ancestors of those that have recently passed. And I want us to take another deep breath. And I want us to let it go. And when you invite the new ancestors, those people that have recently passed into this space. We believe that when people pass in these kind of ways that they are lost, they don't know what happened, <coughs> that they're afraid sometimes. And though we come as one people in consciousness to invite them to let go, to invite them to go to the next place in their journey. <coughs> to thank them for their lives, to thank them for doing who they were, to being those people in those other people's lives. And I want us to take another deep breath, and I want us to let it go. And those are for the people that have been left behind, those family members that thought they still had more time those friends who were there with them, those brothers and sisters that didn't get to say goodbye, those parents that were unforgiving. For all of those people that thought they still had time, we let go of this breath for them. We remember that we are all human beings on this earth. So I just want to say a few a few words for them. Grandmothers and grandfathers, we thank you for this circle of beautiful human beings, for bringing all of our ancestors together today, for all of the tears that we shed. We ask for strength. We ask that you continue to bring us together in good ways that we take this anger that's in the pit of our stomach and that you help us to move that forward to fight in the good ways. We ask that we're there for one another while we get through this time. We ask that we're gentle with one another. We ask that we are creative with one another, that we figure out what this fight is about. We ask that we continue to do the work that our ancestors put us to do on this earth. We pray for all of those that were left behind. We ask these brand new ancestors 
to help us in this journey ahead. Well, thank you. Come on. Hello, my name is uh, Mehran Khodavande and I'm a member of the Muslim community.